right, so we can see a lot of blood under the <clears> epidermis. <throat> uh, really thin, eutrophic epidermis. Um, but yeah, lots of blood. Uh, and it's not collected in any sort of vessel or anything like that. It just looks like a big bruise, like solar purpura. Yeah, very good. This is solar purpura. In the past, it was called senile purpura, but we try to avoid calling anything senile now because it's not very polite towards patients. Um, uh, or Bateman's purpura is another name people have used for it. These are those, those bruises, the violaceous patches that you see often on the dorsal forearm of elderly adults with bad sun damage and really thin skin, and sometimes also exacerbated on people who are on aspirin or other um, antiplatelet drugs, right? So the problem is that sometimes we see blood in the skin and it's a procedural, right? It happened at the time of the biopsy and it just spilled on the tissue. And so one, uh, one clue to helping me know, uh, how do I know this blood is you know, real? I know it's real blood, but how do I know it was really there in vivo rather than uh, ex vivo that's occurred after the biopsy? Is I look at the clinical history. Was it a violaceous area that the, the dermatologist thought looked red or purple? So that can be helpful. Um, and yeah, like you said, it just fills in and kind of layers in between the, um, the uh, solar elastosis. Here at the side, we can see that there's lots of elastosis. And there's a very thin atropic epidermis, and this is what happens in really severe chronic sun damage in elderly adults. Sometimes you can get some kind of cystic areas that look like they're lined by endothelium that look kind of like a vascular or pseudovascular space. Occasionally that will happen. Also, sometimes you can get some inflammation in these, which can make uh, people think about vasculitis. That's been described um, in the literature in, um, in the past, that there's an inflammatory variant of this, which can really be confusing if you don't know that that exists. Uh, because it can it can mimic vasculitis. So just a couple of clues there uh, that you might want to know about. But normally, um, you know, someone might biopsy this because they want to make sure that it's not an angiosarcoma. Clinically, they see a spreading violaceous patch that won't get better, and they biopsy it, and we say, nope, there's no vascular proliferation here. It's just all blood. Um, but also, th this can be seen incidentally adjacent to a wide variety of other things. So just because you find this, don't stop looking. Look at the rest of the biopsy and make sure it's not a two-for-one, you know, special, that you just have incidental solar purpura in addition to their, you know, melanoma in situ or something, okay? That's not what's happening here. Uh, this is just solar purpura. Okay, very nice. Good example, and it's not always this robust with the blood. This is a really, real extreme, uh, a nice demonstration of it. Okay. Uh, guys, I think it's time for you to go to clinic. I will carry on and record the rest of these. Um, and then once I get them edited, you can watch it online later. I'll send you guys uh, the link once it's done. I try to remember to do that. Uh, hopefully it'll be before you graduate. All right. Thank you for your patience, and I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you.